What's going on YouTube? It's Adam from Beyond the Grid. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, thanks for stopping by. If you guys are already subscribed, thanks for subscribing to my channel. Really show the appreciation. Also, I've been reading all your guys' comments and I really appreciate the comments, guys. It really lets me know that I'm doing something that's helping you guys out. So in today's video, I've been looking through Instagram and I've been seeing a lot of people using these pastel colors. If you don't know what pastel colors are, they're these. They're really soft, bright, blues, pinks, greens, but they're the softer tones of that variety. So I thought to myself, you know what? I could probably do an edit like that, share it with you guys, and give you guys a preset that you guys can use for your Instagram photos. So stay tuned, and let's jump into Lightroom, and I'm gonna show you guys how to edit like this. But if you close your eyes... Okay, so to start with, let's lower the temperature a little bit on this guy, just kind of make it a little bit more blue, just because we want those pastel colors, and then we're gonna leave the tint at about a plus 10. Let's drop our blacks to about minus 40. Let's raise the whites just a little bit to, let's say, a plus 10. Shadows, let's raise those up a little bit. And then highlights, let's drop those down to about a, yeah, about a minus 17. Um, clarity, we're going to leave that as about a minus 7. Vibrance, we're going to raise that guy. And saturation, we should leave. Let's actually adjust clarity a little bit. Yeah, right there should be good. Okay guys, it's gonna get a little bit complicated here. We're gonna do about seven points on the uh, tone curve here. So place them about approximately where I have them now and you can adjust them and move them as we go. So we're gonna raise all of our shadows just a little bit, except for this one we're gonna drop. We're gonna raise up our mid and then raise these guys just a little bit and our top just a little bit. And we're gonna bring down our top down just a little bit just to crush some of those highlights down again. Now for the HSL panel, we're going to crush the reds and just get really get rid of those. It'll really make everything pink. And raise our oranges, raise our yellows. And then we're going to go into the greens and we're going to leave those guys. Go into the aquas and raise those guys to about, about their 52. Blues, we're going to drop those guys. And then purple and magenta, we're going to leave where they are. And then saturation, we're going to raise our red just a little bit. Minus our orange a little bit. Say about a nine, drop the yellows, or sorry, raise the yellows up. Greens, mm, right about there, just a minus three. Just get rid of it in her eyes a little bit. Aquas and blues, we're going to raise those guys. And then your purples and magentas, we're going to bump these guys right up. And that's where we're going to get those pastel colors from, is from these two right here. Now let's go down to our luminity. We're going to drop our reds and oranges just a little bit. About a minus seven there, that looks good. Orange is about a minus five. And then yellows and greens we're gonna leave. Aquas, we're gonna drop those down to about a minus 27. Blues, we're gonna drop those guys down as well and really make it pink rather than blue because we're gonna bring the blue back when we do our split tone as well as our lens correction. So split tone, usually I show you guys this piece and I don't do too much with the balancing. So right here, we're gonna go about a 300 hue with a saturation of let's say four. And then our shadows, we're going to go 225 with a 13. Yeah, about there. And this is where we're going to adjust. We're going to make the highlights actually more pop off of it. And we're actually going to swing it towards our highlights a little bit and really make those pinks come out. Um, sharpen, we're going to sharpen it just because this photo is a little bit, um, just kind of needs it a little bit. And then this is where we're going to get some of those blues back. So we're going to tint we're going to go towards the actual magenta in the shadows and then hues in the red we're going to go towards the orange greens we're going to go towards the yellow and the blues we're going to go towards the aqua and that's where you get the blue from all right so that's pretty cool right there it's kind of a dark moody blue and pink kind of look but save that as a preset, and then we're going to actually go back into Lightroom, and we'll show you guys how to edit it a little bit differently to kind of raise the highlights and kind of bump that exposure to give it that really soft kind of pastel look. Okay, so here we're going to raise our exposure a little bit. Uh, let's say about a plus 10. Our highlights, we're going to actually... Hmm, let's do our shadows first. Raise those to, a, let's say, about a 60. Our whites, let's raise those guys to about a 25. All right, so that looks like those pastel colors I was showing you earlier. The only problem with the photo right now is her face is a little bit dark. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop back in, add a radiant filter to her face. That'll actually pop up her eyes a little bit and really draw you into her. Okay, so let's draw a gradient filter really quickly. 
and just kind of mask it around the shape of her face, drag it over, and if you need to adjust it, adjust it just a little bit, and right about there. And then we're going to bring down our temperature, sorry, bring up our temperature a little bit. And our tint, we're going to go towards the green, just try to get rid of some of that pink that's on our cheeks a little bit. Uh, our saturation, we're going to raise up. Oh, it's, sorry guys, you guys need to click invert to make everything inside the mask go. So then we're going to adjust our exposure just a little bit. Highlights just a tiny bit. And let's drop our clarity just a little bit and kind of give it a softer look on our face. And then our saturation, we're going to bring this down a little bit and it'll get rid of that pink that's on our face. All right, and there you guys go. There's a final product that I'm actually happy with. If you guys like this preset and want to pick it up, I'm going to leave a link in the description where you guys can get it for free. If you guys found anything helpful in this video at all, make sure you guys are hitting that like button. If you guys are not a subscriber, I mean, why aren't you? Hit that subscribe button. And until the next video, as usual, take care, everybody.